Thank you so much. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this great conference, three days of lots of amazing education. My name is Jody Samuels, and today we're going to talk about targeting the end of moves with timing tools without risking your capital. I'm going to show you some live market examples and some of the setups that we use to find trades during the trading day. Please read the disclaimer to yourselves. Let's just start off with some 2022 trading tips. I'm wearing my coaching hat right now. Being organized can help you take your trading to the next level. So the questions that I wanna start out by asking you are, do you have a checklist for high probability trades or do you just trade at whim using your quote unquote intuition? Once in a trade, do you manage it well? Do you take your profits? Do you take your losses if you have to? Next question, same. Do you take losses and move on or do you add to losing positions? Do you keep track of your trades? Very, very important to keep track of the trades that you take so that you can learn from your mistakes and not do the same things over and over again, expecting different results. So that, those are just some tips that I wanted to start out with. I'm gonna talk about getting funded at the end of the presentation. We have a program where you can get funded up to $500,000, so stick with me. This is me and my book, The Trader's Pendulum. It still has a buzz around it, people are still buying it, even though this was written in the end of 2015, it came out. But it still has a lot of relevance to today's markets. And I want to talk about the trader's pendulum with regard to market pendulum, financial pendulum, and emotional pendulum. <clears throat> the market pendulum is the market, it's not only the market volatility, but it's also the market cycles. The market when we're in an uptrend, the market moves up and then it pulls back. It doesn't move straight up in a straight line. When we're in a downtrend, like we are in many markets right now, or a significant correction, we, we move down and then we pull back. We move back up, but the sellers are in there ready to sell. And in uptrend markets, the buyers are in there ready to buy. And this is called um, looking at the market cycles and understanding the market cycles. The emotional pendulum, we're all familiar with that. The, I like to look at it between, look at fear and greed being on a continuum. And sometimes we're in fear mode, afraid to pull the trigger. Sometimes we're in greed mode when we see our P&L going up, but we don't take our profits and then we move back to fear mode when the next day the, the profits are gone and we're actually in a losing position. Financial pendulum, successful traders make money, lose money, as long as you have a system and strategies that you can follow uh, to make money consistently, you will understand that everybody loses money. It's fine as long as the size of the wins are greater than the size of the losses and the drawdowns aren't too large. <clears throat> it's funny, when I started trading in the 1980s, is very similar to today with uh, inflation going out of control. At that time, Paul Volcker was the chairman of the Fed. So we had the inflation problems, we had the stock market crash actually. <clears throat> 90 and 87 and oil prices were higher so very similar situation to what we are experiencing today and lots of market volatility so i'm almost reliving what uh, the the market from the 1980s but let's look at the market cycle this is the emotional pendulum trading the market cycles when we are in a trend move when we are up here people tend to get greedy and load up, experiencing exuberance and optimism. This is where we, we were in this position last year, towards the end of last year, where really people were just loading up at the top. And then what happened was we started the corrective process 
where in Elliott Wave terminology, we have the A, we have the B, this is a zigzag move, and a C wave. And we'll look at some examples today. And then down here, this is where traders pull the panic button, they're discouraged, they're fearful, and they bail. So not bailing up here and, not, and bailing down here. So we want to avoid that. <clears throat> And we want to try to take the profits up here. Now, this could be any time frame. So we are seeing this eight wave market cycle today. I mean, in, in various stocks on the daily chart, on the weekly chart, on the hourly chart, if you're a day trader on the smaller time frames, it doesn't really matter. This eight wave market cycle is something that you can internalize and look for when you're looking for trades, when you're looking at the market. And when you see us starting to pull back and then the market moves up again don't be lulled into thinking that the market is going to go straight up again because as soon as we turn around it's very likely that we will do that third leg that a b c c move down in fact warren buffett says be fearful when others are greedy be greedy when others are fearful he's a contrarian so, and he's very, he's been very proven to be very good at it. So try to be a contrarian when you feel that the market is heating up or when the market is being very, very fearful. So let's talk about the end of trend trade setup. How to identify the end of trend and get out near the top when others are buying, get in when others are selling. And then I'm going to talk about the Wavy Tunnel Pro and how you can get funded. And I'm going to show you our elite scanner tools to find these trades on three different platforms, TradeStation, MotiveWave, and MT4. And it's very, very cool when you can scan for these trade setups on the trading platforms. So what process do I follow to give me confidence as a trader and pull the trigger and manage my trades? Let's get to it. Well, the first thing that I do is the analysis. I have a process that I follow. And then I use my scanning tools and I find the trades that I want to look at and I use my strategy. And trade management is really very important, as we alluded to at the beginning with the 2022 tips. Really, really, very important, can make the difference between being a winner and, and not being consistently winning. So this is the eight wave cycle on the left, and you can see on the right, our wavy tunnel setup follows this eight wave market cycle, which is, which is why I love this wavy tunnel pro setup. And I'm gonna show you that. So when we have the move up for the end of the move, the wave five, we often see divergence in the awesome oscillators. So that's something that you can put on your charts and look for that. When you see divergence, that's like your warning bell. Maybe I shouldn't be going in buying up here. Why don't, you know, maybe I should be waiting. So this is a very simple strategy, the one, two, three reversal strategy, which really you, you can use on any market and this is great at market reversals and this is what i use for confirmation when i want to sell or when i want to buy it, it that just in case the market isn't done moving higher i like to see a one two three top for the confirmation that it could actually come down and this is where we place a point one at the tie on the visible chart and then we have a point two when the market moves down and the market corrects back up for a point three. And then we trade below the point two. And this is sort of your confirmation. And what I like to do is a top down approach. So if I see a trade set up on a bigger time frame, I might move down to a smaller time frame to see a one, two, three reversal. But I'm going to show you examples of that as well. So this is the Euro USD, a 15 minute chart. These are just examples so you can get the hang of the pattern. Here we have a one, we label this a point one and don't mistake this for Elliott Wave numbers. It's not, it's just a simple 
high on the visible chart. So we label that point one, and then the market moves down, it reverses, we label that point two. The market corrects, looks like it's correcting about 50%, we label that point three. And then once we take out this low of point two, that's the cell, the cell of the break of point two. I mean, that's just a simple strategy. And the measuring objective is your first target, it's usually the distance between point two and point three. I mean, that's just from standard technical analysis. So you might want to take some profits here and then trail your stop for the rest. But of course, you're doing a top down analysis. So if you're on the daily chart, you, you're setting, you're already setting targets. This is just getting you into the trade. So you've already done your analysis. The other thing that we want to look at is, do we have divergence? So we want to combine this one, two, three reversal pattern with awesome oscillator divergence. I like using the awesome oscillator. And I look for a peak, followed by a correction, followed by another peak. We label this waves three, four, five. This tells us the awesome divergence tells us that the market is running out of steam when we have that second peak. And you can see that price is making a new high and the awesome oscillator is making a lower high. So that's the less than sign on the keyboard. You, you, you have that and then, then you look for your one, two, three reversal, okay? And this is Apple. This is the hourly chart. Again, point one is the market top, point two. And then point three doesn't really move up very much, but sometimes that happens. Sometimes we are about to be in a strong move and the market just, it makes its initial move down and then we trade sideways. And this is a very bearish pattern. When we trade sideways with small bodies and we, we see these tails sticking up, that tells us that there's not a whole lot of buying going on and that when we take out this point, we, you know, we're gonna go lower and we do. But we also have divergence, okay? So we have awesome oscillator divergence. Here's another example, another hourly chart looking for awesome oscillator divergence. And then we have the 0.2 sell the break kind of trade. So this is just education at this point. These aren't current markets, but I will show you current markets. Here's another one. The market has moved down. We have divergence and then we have the one, two, three reversal by the break. And then I think this is the last one. This is a currency pair, the New Zealand, Canada. It's the four hour chart. We have divergence here, and then we have a 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and then we break down. So I use the one, two, three reversal as a confirmation to get into the trade once I've done my analysis and I want to buy or sell. So let's have a look at some live markets and let's look, look at our elite tool. First, let me show you what our elite tool can add to our confidence because traders need conf they need confidence in their system and setup and, and trading strategies in order to pull the trigger consistently over and over again. And I get confidence is something that if we move to the fear or to the, the fear side of the equation, then we might lose our confidence. So it's really important to practice on a, maybe on a demo account or take small positions so that we build up our muscle memory and we have confidence in our system. We've proven it to ourselves. We've proven more importantly that we can trade our system and that we can read the markets very, very well. So with our elite tool, we can now scan for purple or gray arrows to start. Now the purple arrow is the end of the biggest swing move in L8 wave terminology. And the gray is the next swing move. So I'm gonna show you some combinations of these, which are really, really neat. So we scan for the purple or the gray arrow, we look for divergence, we wait for the one, two, three confirmation to take the trade. And then 
when we have a trend line break at the same time, that's a bonus. So I'm going to look at the same markets, put our wavy tunnel set up on it and show you how the looking for the purple or the gray arrow really makes a difference in understanding taking the trade and giving us confidence. And then we're going to look at MT4 for currencies, trade station for stocks, get ready for the current watch list that I printed out today for a particular trade setup and mode of wave as well. I've, I ran the scans just before this class and I'm gonna show you some trades that were popping up on that. So I just want to describe and show you how using the wavy tunnel setup and looking for the purple arrow, this was the Apple chart that we saw. It's right up here on the hourly. And now we're dressing up the chart. We're dressing up the chart with our indicators. And for me, the wavy tunnel setup is something that I, the wavy tunnel pro setup is something that I just love because I can look at any market and say where we are in the market cycle and sort of say where I think it's going. So for example, when we have this set of moving averages separating from the longer term moving averages and we break down for our one, two, three reversal over here, first we have the purple and we have divergence and then we break down for the one, two, three reversal. I can look at this setup and I know from experience that we are going to go below these long-term moving averages because that's just what happens. We go below and we get a gray diamond. That's just what happens. Now we're seeing this pattern currently in all of the in, um, indices on the weekly charts where we're right in the middle. We're right in the middle. And maybe uh, if I have time, I can show you. So we're right in the middle. So. What I'm thinking is I cannot rule out that we have a, a continued move down into this area. And I just can't rule it out. So maybe we will have a move back up and then we will continue down. I, I don't know, but using the wavy tunnel setup, this is sort of my, my target when we do break into this gap, okay? Here's the other example that we looked at the hourly charter communications chart. So this is just the looking at the candlesticks on a blank chart. But then when we put the wavy tunnel set up on it, we have the purple arrow down here, purple diamond, actually, we have arrows on some platforms, purple diamond down here. And then we have a, what I see is a correction up to here for the gray, for the gray. And this was our setup up here. Now I know where we are in the market cycle. We have the purple down below, and then we have a correction. So I'm anticipating a move down. And if we go below this purple, then that's fine. We make a new low. We don't have to, but we can. So we have divergence okay, in the awesome oscillator. And our one, two, three reversal is right here, and we have the gray arrow. And now, because we're coming from a different part of the market cycle, our target is the previous low. That is our target. It's different from the chart up here, where our target is somewhere below, below this, uh, these long-term moving averages with the gray diamond. So. Now our target is the previous low. We also have a trend line break here, and that's just a bonus, okay, when we have a trend line break. Because Elliott wave patterns typically trade within channel lines. So when we have a trend line break, it means that we're breaking out of the, the channel, which is either a correction, a corrective move, or a trend move. So this is Tyson Foods, the 15 minute chart where we had divergence and oh, voila, we have the purple diamond down here and we have the one, two, three reversal. This is also telling me that 
the initial target is going to be so somewhere up here. And then once the averages cross above the tunnel, it's just a, it's a trend continuation. But this is an end of trend move. And the end of trend move, and there are various, can either, the next move can be a move up to these long-term averages and then down for a new low, or it can be the start of a new trend. And it's on the 15 minute chart. So in this case, it is the start of a new trend. And you'd have to look at the bigger time frame to see uh, what it's showing on the daily chart. This is the New Zealand Canada, which we showed. And once again, we have the gray arrow up here. We have the trend line break. And our system, by the way, has automatic trend lines that are drawn. So I'm gonna show you that as well. And then price starts to move down and our target is this previous low. So just to review, we scan for the purple arrow to start. Is there a divergence to? And we use multi time frame indicator to confirm the market reversal. We wait for the one, two, three confirmation to take the trade bonus with the trend line break. So now I'm introducing the multi time frame indicator, which is right down here. We have a multi time frame indicator, and this is three consecutive time frames. So because this is the hourly chart, the middle row is the hourly, one time frame higher is the four hour, one time frame lower is the 15 minute. We don't it's programmed for the weekly, the daily, the four hour, the hourly, the 15 minute, the five minute, and the one minute. So we have the purple arrow down here, not the purple diamond. This is our 0.1 market bottom. But what's happening is we have gray dots forming. So we know that this purple arrow is on two consecutive time frames. So it's on this one and it's on the 15 minute as well, because when we have the gray dot, it symbols the end of the trend on our multi time frame indicator. And I'm going to show you the radar screen as well in just a minute. So, but I'm just trying to show you the one, two, three reversal in this simple strategy. So we scan for the purple arrow. The multi time frame indicator confirms that we have this purple arrow on a few consecutive time frames. We have divergence in the awesome oscillator, and we wait for the one, two, three reversal to take the trade, which is right here. And we also have our automatic trend line, which is kicking in at the same time. You see this little yellow arrow? So it's kicking in before the one, two, three reversal, which, which is up here. So it's a, it, it's a trend line break, but we've already established that we have a move up, a correction down, and we're looking for the, the move up. And on, in our system, this is actually giving us the target as well. This horizontal yellow arrow is our target after we uh, trigger this trade based on this trend line break. So here's another one where we have the multi time frame indicator, and three consecutive time frames are lining up where we have this purple arrow on three consecutive time frames, and then the market moves up and it hits our target right at the, the longer term averages here. And this is all automated um, and the, the trend line break as well with the yellow arrow. This is all automated on the chart. So I printed out this scanner tool. I have the hourly, the four hour and the daily on these currency pairs. And what I'm going to focus on, so this, these, these are different Wavy Tunnel Pro strategies that we use. And these four here, these are all the automatic trend lines and it gives you the numbers as to when we've broken through the trend line. So you can search for certain trend line breaks and, and look at the currency pairs or whatever you, the CFDs, whatever you're trading on your MT4 platform. And you can even trade stocks on the MT4 platform. And I'm going to discuss that when we look at the um, funding program. 
But now I'm going to focus on, so what I've done was I sorted by symbol. And what I'm interested in seeing is on this breakout one column, because this is our end of trend column, I'm interested in seeing a bunch of small numbers. So for the New Zealand Swiss, I have 25 on the daily, four on the H, one on the H4 and one on the H1. So I wanna take a look at that. And then I wanna take a look at the New Zealand yen because we have one, one and 27. Now this 27 is very, very interesting because what this, this is another setup that we have that I'm going to focus on that I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what it means. So this is the New Zealand yen on the daily. Now, notice we had the 27 candles in red, meaning short. When we have a purple arrow followed by a gray arrow, opposite arrow, and then another gray arrow, we are looking for a move down for an opposite purple arrow. So right now on this pair, New Zealand yen, we are set up for a move down. Now, do we just want to jump in and take the trade? No, we definitely want to look for a one, two, three reversal on a smaller time frame. But this is called the purple gray gray trade. And this scanner scans for that. And this is very, very high probability. This tells us that once price starts to move down, our target is an opposite purple arrow below this gray arrow. And this is the time to take it. So this is the daily chart, and this is what the, this is what it showed on the scanner, 27. And what does the 27 mean? It just means that 27 candles ago, we got the signal that we are now looking for a lower uh, purple arrow and we look for the lower gray, the upper gray, and that's our, our time to sell. So let's look at the one hour chart and here we have our purple arrow. And if we look down at the multi time frame scanner, we see three consecutive time frames: the hourly, the four hour, one, one above, and the 15 minute. All have these purple arrows. All have these purple arrows. But we still want to look for a one, two, three reversal. And you can see that we have all of these automatic trend lines being drawn as well. And we also have awesome oscillator divergence but we, we don't wanna just jump in yet. Now I'm moving down to the M5 and I see that we have the start of a one, two, three reversal. And we had the initial trend line break right over here with the, with the blue arrow. And then we have a bunch of other trend lines down here. This is the smallest time frame, frame the M5. So I would wanna see us trade below this point and then perhaps look at the 15 minute for a one, two, three reversal to take this trade. But this is currently setting up right now. And then this is the New Zealand Swiss, same thing, same pattern, but we're just gonna look at this where we have divergence. We have the purple arrow on three consecutive time frames, And I found this on the scanner. So I would then wanna go down to the smaller time frames and wait for some kind of market reversal, one, two, three reversal before entering this trade. So on the MT4 platform, we can choose the instruments, Forex stocks, commodities, and cryptos, select the time frames. We can set up a scanner if you're a day trader on the one minute, the five minute, and 15 minute, and look for the same patterns on those time frames. Or if you're a swing trader, we can set it up on the hourly, the four hour, and the daily, which is what I had it set up on. And a position taker might set it up on the four hour, the daily, and the weekly. So you start out by looking at the scanner for the setups. You're very familiar with the setups because you've taken the training and then you define your trade plan and you go. You look for your one, two, three reversal and you go. Now this, I'm simplifying things because obviously you wanna look at the fundamentals as well. You wanna 
on the weekend or or Monday morning, you, or maybe every day before you start trading, you want to look at some articles, some good strategy articles to see what the what's going on. <laughs> Obviously, with all the geopolitical risk and there's just so much going on today, it's really important to have that fundamental um, background as to what's going on in the markets. Now, obviously this is a technical strategy, but I like to mix both and I like to know what's going on and I like to use my strategy to find entries once I do my top-down analysis and, and understand which way I wanna be in the market. Now I mentioned our funding program. So the funding program gives you Forex stocks, commodities and cryptos on one platform. And no matter where you reside. So even if you're in the US, you can trade Forex stocks, commodities, and cryptos on the same platform. But I'll tell you more about that later on. Now let's look at TradeStation. And now this is, I ran this scan today. I ran it this morning, so you can take a printout. Now this is the breakout four setup. And I should, Gee, I should show you, ah, this is the breakout four setup. And let me just show you, hmm, go back and show you what that breakout four setup is. Earlier today, we looked at this, okay? And we said that once the market corrects, this is the time to buy. So the, this is our breakout four, our wave four pattern. And this is, this scanner shows us the point C, when the market has corrected enough and now it's the time to buy. Okay, so that's what this breakout four does. And let's get right to it. So the signal is when it's it's almost like the one two three reversal that's when we can take the trade the ready is when it gets ready so when it's ready when we have the gray arrow and the signal is when we're ready to take the trade so you can sort by the ready or you can sort by the signal and what's also interesting is we have red for short positions and green for long positions but we also have the entry price, the stop loss, and three different profit targets automatically calculated and what your PL is and what your PL percentage is. Now, this is a running total. So whatever the current price is, the last price, it's based off of that. But it does tell you if, if one, two, or three targets were hit. So from this, we can it's almost like a, a back testing. This is the S&P 500. So it tells me how many of the 500 stocks met their targets. And I'm going to show you those results. So I, here I sorted by P&L. Quite a lot had the three profit targets met. I'll come back to this in a minute because, yeah. So when you look at the 500 stocks on the daily chart, 54% hit three profit targets, 15% hit two profit targets, and the additional 9% only hit one profit target, not two or three, and 22% hit no profit targets. And that could mean that the trades were just, you know, they were just, um, it could be the recent trades too. So if there are 10 or 20 trades that are setting up right now, that's part of the 22%. It's not like, it's not as if they're in a losing position. It's just that the targets haven't been met yet. And then I ran this on the hourly chart because I wanted to see what the results are if I run it on the daily versus on the hourly. Now I've been taking the daily signals, so myself, and I wanted to see what the results would show on the hourly chart. And I could do the same with any time frame. And what, what I saw was that the percentage wins increased. It increased from 78% to 83% and with 17% losses. So the number of wins increased. 
56% hit three targets versus 54%. So the results are very similar. And another 19% hit the two profit targets. So this is, um, I'm pretty, I'm very comfortable with this, but I'm really comfortable with it because I've been trading this setup, this particular setup for many, 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 many years. So I was comfortable before, and now I'm just so you know happy about it that it's being pro that it's programmed. So just to give you a little um, sense of what I do in my top-down approach. I took these printouts today. These are all of the ETFs. So we're going to get back to the scanner, but you might say, well, how do you know which trades to take? Don't you look at the market sectors? Do you look at the industry groups? Um, what do you do? And I think that's a fair question. And I told you that I like to sort of marry the fundamentals with the technicals, but one really good way and quick way to see which um, sectors are performing well is to look at look at the various sectors, the ETFs. So this is today. So as we know, the markets are all down today, right? Okay, this was taken probably two hours ago. So we have uh, the Dow, the IWM, the QQQs, and the SPY. So all red, and then we look at the material sector and in the material sector that's that's mixed red and green now of course the energy sector is all positive it's all it's, it's up right because we know what's going on with with the with with energy these days so that's all green the financials are all red the industrials are mixed and technology is all red Consumer staples is pretty well all red. Utilities is mixed, more green than red. And healthcare is red and consumer discretionary is red. So if I were to look at this, and if I had been looking at this, I would say, well, gee, energy, utilities, these are the ones to focus on right now. So now I'm going to go back to the scanner and show you that we have all the sectors listed here. So the financial technology and healthcare, these top three are showing go short. So I might be interested in looking at that uh, to see what, you know, if I would wanna go short, maybe buy a put or something. And then we have, these are all green, so I would want to look at these sectors to see if any of them are utilities or energy, because this is telling you to get in early on. And I see a utility down here. I see a couple of utilities. I don't see any energies because most of the energies were triggered, huh, you know, a while ago and maybe a month ago, and they've all hit their profit targets. So let's just look at some examples. This is a utility, this is Edison. This, so this just shows you, this is the gray dot on TradeStation. It's a dot, not an arrow or a square diamond, but it's a gray dot. And this is your wavy tunnel setup where we have the purple and then we have a major correction. We have the gray dot and this little green is the signal tells you when to get into the trade. So I just wanted to show you this, that you know, it just, as soon as it triggered, it just kept going up and up in a nice straight line. Didn't hit the third profit target yet. And these profit targets are, by the way, you can, you can set them. I set their Fibonacci levels from the previous high because I'm looking for a move up to the previous high. So three profit take, uh, levels up to the previous high. So this is an example of one trade that worked out well. But if you if you took this trade, if you had a let's say ten trades that triggered on the same day, and you saw that two were utilities and the rest were technology, you might have just gone with the utilities because uh, that's what's going on and that's that's what's being favored right now. 
this is a technology. It was a, a short, okay? And this triggered over here and the signal came out over here. So once again, if you were savvy about technology not leading the way for a while, you might look for technology shorts. And of course, you can always, this is a daily chart. So what I like to do is I usually have three charts up, the daily, the four hour, the hourly, and I'm looking for that one, two, three reversal on the hourly chart when I'm taking this daily short trade. This hit all three profit targets because the profit targets are set from the pre from the previous low, okay. Here's another one, also a technology, and this triggered short over here. It actually triggered long back here, okay. This was the the long trade, and it went up, um, and then it did nothing, and then it 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 actually came came down, and then this triggered the the short trade a couple of days ago. Let's see if I have anything. Okay, so that's that's all I have for TradeStation. I'm just showing you the one setup, but of course we have all of the trend line breaks on there, and it's just it's just it's just fabulous, fabulous. Now I want to get to Motive Wave, and okay, there is a there is a, there are some questions here that I will answer. Does your scanner work on futures on TradeStation as well? Absolutely, absolutely. It works on futures, whatever, it works on whatever data you can get on TradeStation. I just happened to put the S&P on TradeStation. And I'm using this full disclosure, I'm using uh, TradeStation just for my analysis. I trade on another platform. Um, I'm not trading through uh, TradeStation. I'm just using it for my analysis. But you can put up the futures markets, absolutely. You can put up whatever you want. You can put up ETFs. You can put up whatever data you want to. And I can tell you that the signals are, can be, are, are really good with anything, OK, no matter what you're putting putting on. Um, in tracking the ETFs, there were some really terrific signals on, on the ETFs with this one particular setup. Okay. The purple indicator is the, it's, it's the end of a swing move in Elliott Wave terminology. It's the end of a swing move. And it's called a semaphore. Now let's move on to mode of wave. Now, remember I told you about this purple, gray, gray? Well, royal, noble, noble, that's what we call the royal semaphore is the purple, the noble semaphore is the gray. I scanned for the purple, gray, gray. And I did it right before this class. And I came up with three, six, seven, I guess eight symbols on the hourly, the daily, the four hour, the 15 minute and the four hour charts. And I'm gonna show you what each one, this is the VIX, okay? The hourly VIX. By the way, on Motive Wave, fair, excellent, fair, this just means that it, excellent means that it just triggered. Fair means that it triggered 15 bars ago. Uh, 37 bars ago, 11 bars ago, 80 bars ago. So they're not, some of these aren't recent trades, but I'm just going to show you the trades anyway, because all of these scans came up. So I'm going to show you really that they all, that they all did well. So this is the VIX. <laughs> Very interesting. We have the purple arrow, we have the gray, and then the opposite gray and the red down arrow is the trigger to sell. I mean, now it's the trigger that VIX is probably going to go lower, right? Volatility is probably going to go lower. So it has already started to sell off, but you saw it here first. So we have the purple arrow, the gray arrow, 
on the opposite side of these moving averages and then the gray arrow. I mean, how neat is that? You don't have to do anything with this noise. You can just wait for the signal. Now let's look at the next one. This is ABMD. We have the purple arrow, we have the gray arrow, and then the opposite gray arrow. This signal happened 37 candles ago. So up here, and then the market moved lower. I mean, this is a great signal. I mean, you're not gonna take it now because it, it happened already, right? And then the next one is MGRC, purple, gray, gray. This is where it triggered. And it's already started to move up. The next one, MKL, this is the hourly, purple, gray, gray. So it's just triggering now, okay? Zero, yeah, excellent, zero. It means that it's zero. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna, you can, uh, analyze this and look for the one, two, three reversal. You can really, you can look at the bigger time frame to see what's going on there, which is what I like to do. The next is MRK, triggered 80 candles ago. We had the purple, the gray, the gray triggered right here, had a nice move down, very nice move down. I mean, this is, um, a great, a great setup. And then now on the hourly chart, the purple, gray, gray. So this was 50 candles ago, but again, I'm showing you all of them and it triggered over here. We had a nice move down. So this is another, once we have the opposite gray or if we have an opposite purple, that's the time to get out of the trade, by the way. Okay. Now I didn't print out Roku. That's a 15 minute, but that has a signal on it. And IBM on the four hour also has a signal on it. And they're both um, perfectly good, reliable signals, but I didn't know how much time I would have. So this is very, very cool. And of course, on Motive Wave, you can scan uh, for anything. Uh, you can scan for currencies, cryptos, whatever data you have there, stocks, um, futures markets, because whatever data you have, you can scan for. And this is just one of the setups, one of the, one of the setups. You can also scan for these purple arrows. You can also scan just for the gray arrows. In fact, on any of the platforms, like it's just, um, really, really good. So just to review, learn this simple one, two, three reversal strategy, because we, we definitely want to get confirmation when we're entering one of these trades. And the one, two, three strategy, reversal strategy is where we have a high on the visible chart or a low on the visible chart for a one, two, three bottom. Then the market moves down, it moves back up, it corrects without taking out the high and then continues to go down. So this is your confirmation. And on the bot for the one, two, three bottom, market moves up, it corrects. And at this point at point three, it can do one of two things. It can trade lower and make a new low or it can trade higher and take out this point two. Now, what I would definitely recommend if you do use the system, there are many, many trades to take, just focus on one that resonates with your personality and just practice it, practice it, practice it so that you do it well. And, and um, you, you really don't need a whole lot to, you know, make money. Just focus on one or two good strategies. And this is what we base all of our trades on the eight wave market cycle. So this is the emotional pendulum trading the market cycles. We wanna train our brain and up here, we wanna feel the fear. We don't wanna feel the greed. We wanna bail up here, think bail. So we wanna train our brain to think we could be at the market top. I wanna, I wanna be fearful up here. And then when we come down here and we find that breakout for trade, this is when we wanna get in 
We want to be greedy. So we've got to do some work on our brain. Okay. Now, I'm just, there are a few questions. Are your scanners and indicators equally well on trade station and motive wave, or is one better than the other? Right. Um, that's hard to say. I think they're both equally, they're both equally good. And the, the trade station shows you the breakout for trades. It does not show you the royal gray gray. So it, it, but it shows you all the trend line breaks. So motive wave shows you the breakout for and the royal gray gray. I, but I, I, like, I like using them on both. When do the diamonds print at the beginning? Yeah, the diamonds print at the end of a swing move. But you need to use a one, two, three reversal for confirmation because the diamond will print and it can it can repaint, which is why I like to look at three consecutive time frames to see that the diamonds are printing at the same time on three consecutive time frames. So let me tell you about the Wavy Tunnel Pro and how to get funded. Because this is where you're going to learn about all of this and be able to use the tool. The Wavy Tunnel Pro 2022 is like a master's training and understanding how the markets trade in cycles. That's what I'm all about. I showed you the Wavy Tunnel Pro setup, the eight wave market cycle. And it's something that I can't trade without. I started out trading in the 80s and we hired a guy, an analyst off the Chicago Board of Trade who taught us Elliott Wave analysis. And today he is a like a really a master analyst for large uh, for the hedge funds and proprietary traders. And he taught me Elliott Wave analysis. So I, I've never stopped using it, but what I what I do now is I don't count the waves myself, but I use the wavy tunnel setup to see what part of the market cycle we are in and to see what the targets are. And now we have this, this the wavy tunnel pro elite tools and the scanner that is just game changing for me, game changing for our students, game changing for me, love it. So use our proprietary combination of cycle high and low indicators with momentum indicators to warn of market tops and bottoms. Learn how to track short-term and long-term trends with precision. Works with stocks, futures, ETFs, Forex, cryptocurrencies, whatever you can chart, it works for. Works for day swing and position trading. Find precise entry points for option strategies. So this is great if you use some option strategies, okay? Embrace the suite of professional tools to trade like a pro. The Wavy Tunnel Pro five-day accelerated trading and mentorship program starts now as soon as you sign up, but you can join me for coaching in April where I do five days of coaching and take you through all the material. And we meet after you go through the material. So I would recommend if you join today, go through the material on your own first and then come in for the coaching in a April and that'll just firm it up for you. So the, way, the site is wavytunnelpro.com. The, again, the Wavy Tunnel Pro 2022 five-day accelerated trading and mentorship program with me starts April 24th. So it goes, it runs from Sunday to Thursday. This is our flagship trading program and my personal system to achieve consistent profits in any market. Get funded, yeah. So you can become a trader without risking your own money to get there. With this opportunity, we are inviting you to be a trader and not just someone who trades. This is for you if you're ready to learn a system that will help you consistently profit and will help you create a healthy mindset for trading. And these are the rules. 
So you have to qual you qualify first by generating 10% profit. You cannot exceed your daily loss limit of 2%. You cannot exceed your max drawdown of 5%. But once you qualify for live funding, you'll be able to share in 75% of the profits. You've got to put your stop loss in. You can't trade over the weekend. You have to flatten on Friday and you're allowed one with withdrawal per month. And you can trade Forex, crypto, all CFDs. So those are the futures market equivalents, including stocks from the platform. And large, Larger account sizes are available upon request. We are actually offering three sizes to you. So this is a, this is what you get. These are all of the values and the bonuses are one month access to scanners, wave counts, trade alerts, and trading rooms. And there are various renewal plans from $59 a month and a bonus funded account. So there are three packages and I'm going to be offering you a discount. Yes, I've decided to offer you a $200 discount for any one of these packages. So with the starter, you get 25,000 in funding. Let me go to let me go to that right now, okay? With the pro, you get $50,000 in funding. With the platinum, you get $500,000 in funding. So I'm offering you $200 off on a, either one of these, any one of these products. The discount code is 200 off, use OFF in caps. It's gonna be good until Sunday. And you will be able to see this on wavytunnelpro.com. Just an excellent program whether you're new to starting out or you're experienced, you will get something out of it. It's just, you know, maybe you're just uh, not there yet. I'm hoping that this, that this training will get you there and will get you profitable. And one great thing about the funding program is it forces us to use discipline. And I know discipline can be a nasty word sometimes, but it forces us to set our stop losses. You can use, and, and you'll be able to use the training to find your trades and take them on the it's an MT4 account. That's the funded account. It's an MT4 account. And again, you will be able to trade whatever asset class you are trading. So very excited to be offering this to you and as well as the discount. I do hope you'll join me and, and, tr and start the training immediately. And again, the accelerated coaching starts in April of 2022 this year in just a month. But you can start right away once you sign up, you can start going through the modules and really be prepared for when the training starts. If you want to email me directly, my email is jody at fxtradersedge.com or you can email support at wavytunnelpro.com. That's Emily. And we are here to help and support you. Very excited to be offering this to you. I do hope you join. And that is a, yes, that is a lifetime fee. And you cannot trade options in the funded account, but you, 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 you know, you just, you can't trade options in the, in the funded account. Can you start on the starter and pay the difference to upgrade later? Yes, you can. There is no monthly fee for the funded program. I'm giving you this funded program as the only thing that you have to do is you, you, you have to put in your stops and your, you can't exceed your loss limits, but there is no monthly fee. No, no. So you qualify, you're in, there's no monthly fee. And the training is here for you. Once you pay for the training, it's, it's your training. So I just want to thank you so much for being here. If you have any questions, please email me and my time is up. Thank you, David.